This is a list of gravitationally rounded objects of the Solar System, which are objects that have a rounded, ellipsoidal shape due to the forces of their own gravity hydrostatic equilibrium. Their sizes range from dwarf planets and moons to the planets and the Sun. This list does not include any small solar system bodies, but it does include a sample of planetary mass objects whose shape has yet to be accurately determined. The Sun's orbital characteristics are listed in relation to the galactic center, while all other objects are listed in order of their distance from the Sun. <laughs> Sun The Sun is a G-type main-sequence star. It contains almost 99.9% .9 of all the mass in the solar system. Topic: <laughs> Planets The 2006 International Astronomical Union IAU defines a planet as a body in orbit around the Sun that was large enough to have achieved hydrostatic equilibrium and to have cleared the neighborhood around its orbit. The practical meaning of cleared the neighborhood is that a planet is comparatively massive enough for its gravitation to control the orbits of all objects in its vicinity. By the IAU's definition, there are eight planets in the solar system, four terrestrial planets Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars and four giant planets, which can be divided further into two gas giants Jupiter and Saturn and two ice giants Uranus and Neptune. When excluding the Sun, the four giant planets account for more than 99% of the mass of the solar system. Topic: Dwarf planets. The IAU, the internationally recognized authority for assigning designations to celestial bodies, defines dwarf planets as bodies that are large enough to have achieved hydrostatic equilibrium, but have not cleared their neighborhoods of similar objects. Since 2008, there have been five dwarf planets recognized by the IAU. Ceres orbits in the asteroid belt, between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. The others orbit beyond Neptune. <laughs> Most likely additional dwarf planets with radius 450 plus km These trans-Neptunian objects are theoretically large enough to be dwarf planets. Dozens more could have been included. Both Quaor and Orcus have known moons that have allowed the mass of the systems to be determined. Both are more massive than the 5 times 1,020 kg recommendation of the IAU 2006 draft proposal as sufficient for classification as a dwarf planet. However, it is possible that dark, low-density objects like Celacia retain internal porosity from their formation and are not planetary bodies. In this case, only 2007 OR10, 2002 MS4, Quaor, Orcus and Sedna are likely dwarf planet candidates. Topic: <laughs> Satellites. There are 19 natural satellites in the solar system that are known to be massive enough to be close to hydrostatic equilibrium. Alan Stern calls these satellite planets, although the term major moon is more common. Several of these were once in equilibrium but are no longer, these include all of the moons listed for Saturn apart from Titan and Rhea. Other moons that were once in equilibrium but are no longer very round, such as Saturn's Phoebe, are not included. Satellites are listed first in order from the Sun, and second in order from their parent body. <laughs> Notes <laughs>